Hello and welcome to News Mobile Prime Time. I am Saurabh Shukla, coming live to you from our Washington DC studios. And here are the top stories of the day. In a post on X, Israel Defense Forces informed that its fighter jets eliminated Ibrahim Bayari, commander of Hamas Central Jabalia Battalion. Bayari was one of the leaders responsible for the murderous terror attack on October 7th. The strike damaged Hamas command and control in the area and eliminated a large number of terrorists who were with Bayari. Additionally, underground terrorist infrastructure collapsed following the strike. According to Reuters, the IDF strikes hit a densely populated refugee camp in the Gaza Strip trip and killed at least 50 Palestinians besides Biari. Medics struggled to treat the casualties and set up operating rooms in hospital corridors, the report added. Next big story, in response to the escalating air pollution crisis in Delhi, Environment Minister Gopal Rai announced on Wednesday that the city's government will enforce a ban on construction activities in regions where the air quality index surpasses the critical 400 mark for five consecutive days. During a press briefing, Rai emphasized that Delhi's air quality index has consistently hovered around 350 over the past several days. In a move to curb biomass burning, the government has instructed various departments and residential associations to provide heaters to security personnel. Next up, amid the conflict between Israel and Hamas, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken will visit Israel on Friday. The Times of Israel reported citing an Israeli official. On October 16th, Antony Blinken arrived in Israel the second time within a few days to pledge support for the country as it continued its counter-offensive against Hamas. During his visit to Israel on October 12th, Blinken held a nearly eight-hour meeting with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's war cabinet kicking off a regional tour that included stop in five other countries, the Times of Israel reported. Moving further, the imminent arrival of the Karwa Chauth festival is upon us and here's a compilation of Bollywood celebrities who will be partaking in the festivities for the first time this year. The list includes Pariniti and Raghav Chadha, who tied the knot on September 24th, Kiara Advani and Siddharth Malhotra who exchanged vows on February 7th, actor Swara Bhaskar and politician Fahad Ahmed who tied the knot on February 16th, cricketer KL Rahul and actress Atya Shetty who exchanged vows on January 23rd. Third, fashion designer and actor Masaba Gupta and actor Satyajit Mishra, who tied the knot on January 27th, and last but not the least, Karin Deol and Drisha Acharya, who tied the knot on June 18th. Now we have come to our last segment. This is Viral Fact Check of the Day. Over past few weeks, several pro-Palestine protests have been organized across many big and small cities in India. Against the backdrop, a video showing several policemen dragging protesters sitting on the road has gone viral on social media. Many users claim police have arrested people supporting Hamas in Hardoi, Uttar Pradesh. News Mobile fact checked the viral post and found it to be false. Our team found the same visual in a news report on a website. Pro Kerala, according to the report, police detained Jamia Mithlia Islamia students during a protest outside UP Bhavan against the demolition drive in UP in connection with the violence that broke out in New Delhi on June 13, 2022. The report contains some images of female policemen forcibly holding two girls wearing the same headscarf as seen in the viral video. You can read the full fact check article on www.newsmobile.in. Thanks for watching News Mobile Prime Time and do follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks for watching.